Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is Warcrime LA here, coming to you from the wasteland of Fallout 76. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use grenades to get bonus XP. And to start things off, the most powerful grenade in the old arsenal that we got here is the Nuka Grenade. That's right, the Nuka Grenade. Uh, is what we're going to be using today. I've also got a few other grenades. Um, we're going to use like the quantum grenade, but uh, the main one uh, is going to be the nuclear grenade, and then the uh, I'll show you how to make these over here at the workbench. So I think I'm going to get a quantum grenade out of here as well. My experience with the quantum grenades is they just are not as powerful. Uh, and these things are heavy too. You just gotta uh, deal with that. Um, there's a way to do that. But uh, to make them, you want to go over to your uh, weapons bench here, um, and then realize you're in the wrong place. So then, at that point, you can get out of that <laughs> and go to your Tinker's workbench. Yeah, that'll make your grenades for you. Uh, so, go to grenades. Um, apparently, I don't have my demolition expert on for some reason. Oh. Sorry about that. Demolition expert. There we go. So, we're going to use demolition expert. I have a level 5. Explosive to 60% damage. And then, uh, Granted, deer, which is going to give me twice the radius of that. So um, now to get these plans for like the nuka grenade right here, you need aluminum, you need one frag grenade, and you need a nuka cola. So uh, I uh, switch my collectron over to nuka cola, and uh, and have just been scouring. The wasteland looking for nuka colas buying them from vendors if i have to you can go to white springs and go upstairs to mr bubbles i think his name is <laughs> and uh you can get uh, nuka cola up there or just any vendor uh, i always check the food and you can buy nuka colas or you can just find them throughout the wasteland randomly um and then we've got the quantum grenade here which is the same thing except uh you're using uh the quanta the nuka cola quantums so uh, but I prefer right now the Nuka grenade. It's a great grenade. Look at look at the damage on it. 740, 125 radiation. Um, and I'm going to show you a way to increase your radius on that as well. The reason I don't have any sound, I don't <laughs> I'm assuming uh, they're recording. There we go. Okay. Hopefully you can hear me now. Can you hear me? Right on. There we go. So uh, I've got a Vampire's Flamer here. That's going to be my primary weapon. And then I'm going to switch over to uh, occasionally to my two shot. Uh, I'm running a commando build. And uh, just to make sure you have selected good grenades. So I got 20 of. 14 of these. You see how heavy they are. Um, you know, 14 of them gives me a 7 stack weight. Uh, and then with new quantums, you got a 10 stack weight. Now, what you can do is there is a card which will uh, lighten the load. I think it's Ordnance Express. Your strength 
Yeah, there you go. Ordnance Express. So explosives weigh 90% less. We could play that if we want. I don't really care to. Since, uh... I don't know, let's just see. I like blocker, but, uh... So yeah, stack weight one, <laughs> less than one. So that's great. That really lightened the load on both of those. Um, but I'm still, you know, I've got 450 max weight right now. Uh, 331. So I'm going to go back to blocker just for right now. If I need to go with Ordnance Express, I will. But um, I prefer blocker. And like I said, the two most important things are Grenadier, which gives you... Uh, your explosive detonate with twice the radius, which is uh, a nice bonus to have. And then uh, Demolition Expert, is, everyone knows this one. This one's fantastic, especially if you have explosive weapons. Your damage, your splash damage goes up 60%, which is nice. Uh, looks like I have a player in chat. What's up, player? Tell me your name. Where are you grinding today? What's your favorite weapon? Uh, this is going to be, I'm showing. Uh, fun with nades so we're going to be doing the nuker grenade and the quantum grenade and the best place to do that as you can see I'm also in a team um, I'm going to go over here to White Springs I knew where it was and I'm going to throw some nades in the window here and we're going to wipe out all these ghouls at the White Springs Golf Club uh, another fun place to throw nade is at uh, any super mutant I mean you could go through uh, West Tech with just nades if you wanted to um, and then the general steakhouse I like to throw a nade down the roof <laughs> in the hole in the roof just wipe them all out but I'm gonna give you a little bonus tip here a little bony all right if you use Tesla magazine number three I believe it's number three Tesla number three magazine um, the radius on your explosion will grow even further which uh, you certainly are in line to blow yourself up at some point, but uh, we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to take that, get that charged up and going before I throw this nade here. All right, so here we are. I'm going to switch to first person, so I don't want to do this correctly. Uh, so we'll go to magazines here, go down to like Tesla. That's the number three, explode radius. Look at that. All right, let's do that. Bam. For 29 minutes, explosion range is plus 30%. All right. So here we go. You can do a couple different things. You can throw it through the window here. Run away! Boom, I got 2200 for that. Left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will just watch this because it's fun. 
I have turned down the sound on my effects just to uh, not drown me out while I'm trying to talk. I know on some of my other videos there's like explosions happening. Uh, Alright, yeah, so I was pretty much wipe out on that situation. I have two nades and I got uh, over th like 3,300 experience points. You know, you got to use it in the right context as well. Let's go over to uh, West Tech. See what we see. What kind of trouble we can get in over here? You know, I'm also in pacifist mode, which means my uh, my damage will not harm other players. And the reason I do that is just so you know I can throw down my my ordinance and not have to worry about hurting anyone else so here's West Tech and what I'm gonna do before I go into this is uh, hit up some Good old lunch boxes. I'm really gonna crank the uh, XP on this. Love it. And again, I use Tesla magazine number three. It gives me an extra 30% range on this. So I don't know exactly where to throw this nade. It's a bonus of XP of 100 right there. Let's do this. There we go, now we can see him. Alright, we're ready. <laughs> Crazy, right? for that need. It's a beautiful thing. Alright, well, let's go inside. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into with these needs in here. Especially in like the big rooms where they're all grouped all around. And uh I mean, you could conceivably just walk through here with nades. Um, yeah, so, you know, I certainly look at Nuka-Cola in a different light now that I can make Nuka-Grenades with Nuka-Cola, a nade, and some aluminum. Now, if you want to plan, if you want to know how to make a nuke grenade, um, three -star legendary, you need uh, to drop. You can't really buy it or get it in any way other than through a drop. So, uh, what the wiki recommends is that you uh, check all the. Check the uh, explosive crates in all regions, and at some point you will get the plan for a nuke grenade. I like the dramatic death there. That's great. Alright, so in this room we're going to throw a nade, we'll see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen, to be honest. Twelve hundred? I don't know what, who died there, but <laughs> we'll see as we go through. You 
know, maybe it was my placement. Uh, I don't know, I'll have to work on that. You know, I did get 1200 for that nade, but... I don't know exactly who was injured in that throw. some reason <laughs> it didn't even kill this guy but I guess it, it goes through uh, walls as well so it probably killed some of the guy down there let's see let's throw a nade down there and see what happens at 3100 for that one So that's the big thing about these nuclear grenades. Right now, I mean, unless they get nerfed, um, they go through walls, they go through levels. Check the uh, durability on this weapon. There we go. Alright, this is a great room to uh, try out this nade. Again, I haven't done this before, so I really don't know exactly like the perfect place to throw this. You know, the most you can get from one person, one enemy, is 4,000. But uh, wondering why that was more than 4,000 is because they all got added together. Using nades down here, you're likely, high likelihood you're gonna blow yourself up. So. I mean, maybe you try a cryogenic down here. I don't know. You know, I 
do have also on my power armor uh, it's unyielding uh, secret service armor but uh, I do have the dense chest mod uh, that helps me from explosions because I use so much explosive bullets and whatnot. I'm a little bit over my bloody threshold here, so we're going to take some toxic goo. should have refreshed all this stuff before I dropped into West Tech to say hello, but I'm so excited to throw a nade. As you see, I got 20 Nuka-Colas that I'm just hauling around. Um, these I'm just going to sell at the vendor. So also I have a newfound respect for uh, just regular frag grenades, like that right there. When they drop them, you know, I want to make a collection of them. I could certainly make them, but... Uh, yeah. It's better if I can just pick it up. There's at least three I just picked up right there. I'll haul those around. Again, I've got that Ordnance Express card that you can use. So I've only got four, and then we'll go to Quantums and check that out. Actually, let's do that right now. So now I'm armed with the new Quantum. This should give me a bigger explosion here. Whoa. Okay. pick up these microscopes if you get a chance. They're good for the uh, fiber optics side. Which is hard to come by. Sparingly, but um, certainly worth picking up when they're available. Another place to do it is Morgantown High School. It has uh, lots of So a lot of, also down here, a lot of these, uh, I'm going to check these little file cabinets, and you can get that Forbidden Knowledge quest started. It's always a nice, easy, simple one to do if you're running through the area. Sometimes these guys will also just uh, respawn right here. Okay, so now again, we are armed with the Quantum Grenade. Alright, it's going to give me an 888 damage but no radiation so but I'm not sure this quantum grenade goes through walls and such like the uh, the nuclear grenade does uh, I'm curious to find out um, I tried them both out briefly uh, the quantum and the nuka and kind of went back to the nuka it was more simple to use 
and certainly felt like I was doing more damage, but um, I'll try out this quantum grenade. I mean, maybe you can leave me a comment and let me know what the difference is between the two. I know Angry Turtle uh, has done a video about it. So that didn't feel like that went through the wall there. Let's try this. Let's go back to the nuclear grenade. If we can hit those guys up the stairs. Definitely, definitely. Look at that. 2,500. So, right there, it's very obvious. The nuclear grenade. Uh, certainly. It goes through the walls and floors. So again, pick up as many frag grenades as you can. Pick up as many Nuka Colas as you can. Mr. Sneaky. That 572. Fantastic. Very happy, very excited about it. So, I do know that there is a uh, Tinker's workbench in the next room where I can make more Snoopy grenades. Zero on that. Didn't hit anyone. Not a good place for it. Placement. There were two legendaries in a row. This guy's still over right. Again, I got picked up another frag grenade. This guy was a legendary. Hitting. Hmm. Nice uh, draw. I am building a life saving. Uh, Make some uh, some nades. I've got two left, and I'm going to switch over to a little super duper action. Give me triple, or uh, sorry, 30% chance to double my yield.
You've got a grenade. Alright, I can make 13, but I think I'm gonna make 10. That's just, I run out of frag grenades. Still got 37 Nuka Colas, so. Got uh, 17 new grenades. All right, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. experience some work there <laughs> let's throw it below here and see if we can get the guys up above <laughs> 32 26 I mean I may have hit them and they're injured I don't quite know. yeah they're definitely injured So, good test right there. Uh, the Nuka Grenade is definitely superior than the Quantum Grenade. Um, moving through West Tech. Nice Hollywood stunt ball, I like that. Again, picking up a frag grenade. So go up. Yeah, he was definitely injured. You know, I hate to correct him about Appalachia. It's Appalachia. It's not Appalachia. Like a chia pet. It's not. Appalachia, but you know, I'm trying to teach a five-year-old super mutants today. Let me tell you. Okay. Yeah, looks like we have another player in the chat. What's going on, my man? I mean, what's your name? Where are you grinding? What's your favorite weapon? Again, so just to catch you up, uh, if you're just joining, uh, I am testing out the Nuka Grenades. I've got uh, 14 Nuka Grenades versus 18 Nuka Quantums, and the Nuka Grenades by far are much uh, more violent and deadly. Just simply the fact that they go through walls and uh, through floors and things like that. So don't bother with the quantums, go with the, uh, the Nuka Grenade. Uh, if you don't know how to make Nuka Grenades, again, I'm recapping a little bit. Uh, you could do Nuka Grenades through uh, a plan. You've got, you can't buy the plan, you've got to get the plan through a drop or like explosive crates that you'll find throughout the wasteland. Um, and once you get that, then you'll learn the plan. Uh, you want to start harvesting or buying as many Nuka Colas as you can get, and as many frag grenades as you can get. You can always make frag grenades at your Tinker's Workbench, but it's always better to find them uh, in the Wasteland, or you can even buy them. Um, but, um, and then you just need aluminum on top of that, so uh, an aluminum with a uh, Nuka Cola and with a uh, frag grenade. Here, here let's 
throwing up on it. <laughs> I don't know why I enjoy doing that so much, but I do. Alright. I don't want to kill these guys now. I'll let them live today. But I'm going to take you to the next place. Uh, again, we're going to go torture some super mutants. I was talking about it earlier, the General Steakhouse, a bunch of super mutants there. They all kind of, you know, they're a little cocky. They've been talking a lot of crap about Appalachia. You know, so we're going to drop a new uh, grenade through the roof. See how they deal with that. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below or just let me know where you're grinding. Um, and again, what's your name? And uh, what's your favorite weapon? Where are you grinding? It's double script uh, weekend where you can get double script. So for all your legendaries that you picked up maybe during <laughs> Spooky Scorched, it's a good time to uh, liquidate those. You get double the script than you would normally get. Which I did already this morning. So I have these new flamers. This is a vampire's flamer. Nothing real special about it, uh, but it does keep me healthy, which I like. All right, so we're gonna get up to the roof. What's that? It is I, war crime. Twenty-one seventy-two experience. Oh, there's a bottle I'll take it. I don't have my Perceptive Bottle card playing right now just because I'm using this Grenadier. have to uh, move out because you are going to take some rads. Move back, I mean. You're going to take some rads. You don't just turn around and run. There's a stash, thank you. And there's used sometimes a uh, magazine over here. There it is. Tumblers. Okay. Thrilling. But, uh, I always check that little spot. Again, the uh, huge benefit of uh, this nuke a grenade over the other grenades is that it will go through walls. At least right now, if they nerf it, you know, they do something where they just they take that ability away, then things will change. But for right now, pretty powerful. <laughs> All the way down here, dead. Right. Normally, I would. Uh, scrap in here, but I don't care to right now, so. Take this sugar. It's aluminum, okay. Every one of these aluminums I pick up is going to make a new good grenade. Um, and again, if you're just joining me, um, use uh, Ordnance Express in your strength. It will make your nades lighter. You're having conference issues. So let's see here. Might be a good place to throw a nade. I mean, jeez. <laughs> the burrows. That would be horrible. <laughs> Likely you're gonna blow yourself up in the burrows just because of the fact you can't escape the, the nade that you throw. Now keep in mind also I did the, uh, the magazine Tesla number three. I don't know if it's still active, but uh, we'll check. And that uh, increases.
increases the radius, I think up to 30% more on top of Grenadier and on top of my demolition expert. So you're just getting a huge explosion out of it. You know, and if you're not in a building, you're just out in the open, you know, maybe the quantum grenades are going to work better for you. But I like the fact that, you know, you can affect people on multiple floors. What I really want to do is throw it in this church up here. I don't know, do you get as much pleasure by killing these guys as much as I do? Just to shut them up. I'm sure I got the smoke alarm going off in the middle of the night. So I have an idea. Let's go north here. It's Moss Town. There's always some good scorched up here. I can just uh, kind of get a scorched train going. Lob a few nuclear grenades in there. See how that's gonna look.
just gonna kind of take care of my, my rads a bit. You can also use these nuka grenades on a Scorch Beast Queen as long as she lands. Uh, let's try to get her to land somehow. And if she does, look at this. Quite a sugar bomb beast here. Five, I believe. Five. side, maybe that will bring her down. My 50 cal vampires with faster fire rate. Made it prime recently. It's great. Going prime really changed things. However, I gotta be more conscious of my ammo. And just make ultracite ammo. she wouldn't land. do something like this. I hope this super mutant demolisher is still in this area if somebody hadn't taken him out. try something um, I heard I'm not sure I understood this correctly but if you go with the instigating weapon 
can throw a nade, it's going to affect the nade. This is an instigating uh, Bowie knife. Sir. Heads will roll. Albino angler. We gotta go kill that? Yeah, that sounds good. Probably gonna be up here. Yeah. Albino. Yeah. I have nothing against albino anglers. Alright? I just have a mission my ally. Not personal. It's just business. Uh, finish this camp venture camp venture uh, quest real quick I just gotta insert some schematics then uh, I'll head on back to base camp
check for uh, bobbleheads. Again, if you're curious, I'm running a full set of unyielding uh, Secret Service armor. Have my power armor, T65. Want to go farm flux or, or I need more. DR. So that's it. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up for today. Uh, this has been a demonstration of the Nuka grenade and uh, how it can uh, bring you copious amounts of experience um, just by throwing a well placed nade. It's all really about placement as well. Uh, there were a few times I threw the nade and nothing happened, and other, other times, like that one, I think the greatest hits. <laughs> the, the apex nade was uh, 4,800 experience points, roughly. Um, yeah, so let's wrap it up here. My ally. Oh, uh, hey. Good to see you again. Hey, what's up? Every time I see you return from investigating one of there the you signals, go. it just makes me smile. Scrap, scrap. So this has been War Crime LA, coming to you from the wasteland of Fallout 76. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. You can always subscribe or like, and uh, I'll see you in the wasteland. Uh, check my uh, YouTube channel uh, for when I'll be streaming live, and then um, there's also some how-tos up there uh, to show you how to get uh, lead and oil and aluminum and the basics. Hope you have a great time in the wasteland, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.